Hi, I'm Paul Alder. I'm the head designer here at Vistafolia. I'm at our office in the UK, Frimley, and I'm here to guide you through the three easy steps on how to use the colour boxes. You're going to find the plants are, are flat packed, so you need to open these up and manipulate the foliage. This is really important before you go anywhere about placing plants onto the grid. And this is going to make the plant look a lot fuller. So if you compare this, to the flat pack version, you're gonna see how nice that looks and how natural. Placing the plants. So you wanna be placing the plants on the carpet planting, the flat areas that you can see on the wall here. You do not wanna be placing the plants where the accent plants are, because it's a shrub, it doesn't, and it's performing the same thing with color. So it doesn't go into these areas. You're gonna be placing them in the flat areas that you can see on the, on the panels. So I plant in groups of three, five, seven, and nine. That's the same way as you know, horticulture, you'd be planting out plants in, in real gardens, but obviously working on a vertical surface. So let me show you. So here I'm gonna use a group of five. Okay, so that's, that's your basic group of five. And you can see I've place them here in this flat area. And I'm using the plants at different levels. So you get some undulation. You don't want to pl pl slot them in all at the same level. So you can see that here. And now you want to repeat this across the wall. You can see this grass has oversailed the edge and it looks more natural as if it's just naturally overgrowing the area. So I'm going to slot some of these plants here and try and replicate the same thing. Okay, you, now you can see that the plants are oversailing the edge. I've got them at different heights here. I've got this one just bedded in a little bit closer to the wall and I'll have allowed these ones to protrude out a little bit further. It just looks more natural and it really finishes off the wall well there. Okay, so now once you've finished the mid and lower level areas, you think you've got enough. I mean, I could spend a bit more time on this. Now you're gonna probably need a small step ladder to get you just to the top of the wall. Okay, so what I've done here is I've just added a, uh, another group, but I've, I've broken the top line of the green wall to make it look more natural again, as if it's overgrowing the edge. And then I'll repeat this a little bit further up the, the next part of the wall. And you use a cable tie. You need to use two of these to secure the, the plant to the grid. We'll go into this in more detail on, on another instructional video. But what, basically what you do is you loop it around, around the grid, you slot it through, you need to pull it tight and that was secured to the grid. Now you're going to use two of these and that'll be really sufficient to hold this plant on the grid in high winds as well. And then obviously once you've pulled it really tight and solid onto that grid, you cut off the excess. And, and that's pretty much how you secure the plant. So now you've secured the plants and you've finished the wall, you can sit back and enjoy it. But please explore our YouTube channel for further, further instructional videos and looking at our products. If you have any questions or queries, just reach out to us on vistafolia.com.